Hey, my name is Brittany and welcome to my channel. So excuse the rollers, but I'm actually getting ready for work today. So this is just gonna be like my everyday makeup routine. So right now I'm just kinda fixing a few of my curls and getting ready to put on my makeup to go ahead and go to work. So if you guys wanna see my everyday makeup routine, obviously stay tuned. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, and yeah, let's get going. So I'm gonna be using this Bosha White Charcoal um, primer right here. And this one I'm only gonna use a little bit. I'm just gonna use on the areas where I have like some acne. So this I really love for like kind of spot treating just because I feel like it helps like dry out like any breakouts or bumps that I have on my face. So I'm just gonna apply that like kind of right here. A little bit like right here because I've been having like these like three bumps actually that are like right in that area and then a little bit right here so with this you want to make sure you apply like literally the thinnest layer because if you don't you're gonna have like a dry patch like I'm not even kidding my skin is like super oily and it'll be like very very dry so for my all over primer, I like to use the Laura Mercier Blemishless Primer. So that's just this one right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I like to use the butt of my Beauty Blender here. And believe it or not, this was actually red when I bought it. But I like to use the butt of my Beauty Blender and I'll take that, dip it in the primer and apply it all over. Kind of avoiding the areas where I put a little bit of that bosher just because I don't want to disrupt it. But I just do this just because I feel like it just helps keep my skin a little bit more moisturized. And then also it doesn't apply a thick layer of the primer. And then for foundation, today I was going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin. I've actually been using this for the past couple weeks. And at first I hated it because I used it with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base and it looked like trash. Uh, but when I use it with this Laura Mercier Primer, it looks amazing. So it's just this foundation here and it's supposed to be for 15 hour wear and it's supposed to be really hydrating. Even though I don't really need any hydration, but yeah. So I'm just going to pump probably like five to six pumps of this on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna apply it all over with my like beauty this. blender. So, I'm just gonna blend all of that out. And with this, it's, I think it's a medium to full coverage. So that's why I use so much, cause I like to get a nice full coverage. Even though I think in my head it's medium, I always come out with the full coverage. So I'm just applying this all over. I feel like applying foundation is like the most boring part <laughs> of watching a video because I feel like it's just so redundant and there's just nothing special about how you apply foundation. So if I seem boring or bored, it's because I am. I'll probably just fast forward through this just because it's nothing special, like I said. So this is how everything looks with the foundation. Pretty good. And yeah, I have really nothing else to say about, <laughs> about that, but this is my face with just the foundation. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Makeup Revolution Banana Setting Powder. Um, I actually don't like concealer. So if you know me, you know I don't like concealer and I rarely use concealer. Um, most of the time I use concealer is for a picture on Instagram or for a video. So I just like to do a setting powder in places where I would have placed my concealer. So I'm just using this banana powder and I'm just gonna kind of press it in those areas where I would have used concealer. So this is kind of giving me like that highlighted look without actually highlighting. I wanna do some under my eye, of course. 
And I love applying it with my Beauty Blender because I feel like it just melts into the skin so much better than with anything else. Um, if I get lazy, I'll use a brush. But nine times out of 10 for my foundation, I'm using a Beauty Blender. So for powder, I use a Beauty Blender. So I'm just kind of pressing it in under my eye. And as you can see, it is giving me like that highlighted look without the use of concealer. So this is just like my own little personal trick. Just because I feel like I don't really need concealer. Like I don't really have bags or anything under my eye. So I just like to do this. And you just want to make sure that you really like press it in and get it everywhere you need it. Okay. So this is after the powder. So like I said, it kind of looks highlighted. It's like a fake highlight because I didn't really highlight with any concealer or anything, but just with the banana powder. But I like this one a lot. My Sasha one is pretty good, but I feel like it's a little bit too yellow for this. So this one is a little bit lighter and it still has that kind of banana effect. So it really gives me like that highlighted effect. So the next thing I'm gonna be using is my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. And this is like my life changing powder. Like it's, I feel like it just makes me look super beat. Or if like my foundation is a little bit off, like the color might be a little bit too light, like this powder is amazing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and I'm just gonna use this Makeup Forever 128 brush right here. And this is just their powder brush. So I like to literally just take it side to side and then I'll kind of press the powder in on those areas where I didn't highlight and then kind of wave it back and forth. So I'm just gonna do that all over. So I just kind of like press it and then wave it. And I'll kind of blend it with uh, that banana powder just so everything looks kind of seamless. And then in areas where I need more coverage, I'll just add a little bit of that powder on top because it is a foundation powder. And then I'll apply some on my forehead, especially around the perimeter my forehead for sure and then I'm just kind of sweeping it all over and my hair is my face of course and then a little bit on my neck okay so that's the MAC studio fix powder literally game changing like life changing powder I don't know what is in that stuff but literally it's amazing so now I'm just gonna go ahead and contour I don't really contour I call it more bronzing I just like to add a little bit of color back to my face and kind of give that dimension so I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit this one's actually one that I made it says the medium tan but it's, it's really not the medium tan and you can kind of guess which two shades I'm going to be using from this uh, palette because they both hit pan. I'm just so I'm just going to kind of mix these two together and I'm just going to use those to kind of just give my face some color. So I'm just kind of bronzing slash contouring, whatever you want to call it. Just adding that color and definition back to my face. And I'm just going like underneath my cheekbones and then along my hairline just to give all that dimension back. This is like one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup because I feel like it just gives it like that, that dimension. It just gives it like that, I don't know. It just, I feel like this is just like stepping it up. So I'm just doing that. I just take what's left on the brush and do the sides of the jaw. I like to do the sides of my chin, then kind of swirl around. Don't ask me why, personal preference. And now I'll just take the brush and just go on my nose, just to slim it down, I guess. And that's what that kind of looks like. 
So now I'm just going to be taking one of the newest products that I've added to my everyday makeup routine and it is the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer and this is it right here and then I'm just using the shade Cappuccino. So I'm just kind of like tap the tip of my brush in that and I just kind of like to go like in the hollows very lightly and just kind of like deepen up my contour bronze just deepen up that area and then i'll take some of course along my hairline but closer to my hairline for sure just because it's a little bit darker and i don't want it to be dark like on the center of my forehead so just around the perimeter just kind of blending it along those edges and now you can see I kind of have like that dimension to my face, so to speak. And then for blush, I'm just going to be using the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Copper Face Compact. And now I'm just going to be using the blush shade from this, which is this one right here. I'm not sure what the name is. Oh, Pleasure Model. This is one of my favorite blushes. I don't think this is available, but don't quote me. I could definitely be very wrong. Um, but I'm just taking that same brush that I used for my bronzer, and I'm gonna use that for my blush as well. And I'm just gonna kind of layer it like a little bit on top of where I applied my bronzer. Just add more of a blended effect. And I'll just use it just to give a little bit of color. I'm not a huge blush person, but when I do use blush, I don't use a whole lot. I feel like I don't need all that pink on my cheek. You know, it's not naturally there, so I'm not trying to put it there. <laughs> and then for highlighter, I'm going to mix two things together. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And then you guys can probably guess what shade from this I'm gonna be using because this is hands down like one of my favorite shades. Like I use this shade like with everything. So I'm just gonna take the bronze shade from the Sun Dips palette and apply it on the top of my cheeks just to give like that glow and apply a little bit under my brow. Now I'm gonna take some more, do the other side. Same thing, top of my cheeks, a little bit on the brow. Oops, I dipped in the wrong shape. I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose, the bridge. I like to kind of highlight the center of my forehead. It's more of the, one of the recent things I've been doing. And then when my chin's not breaking out, I like to highlight my chin. And right now it's not breaking out. So we're gonna get a little chin highlight action. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my new favorite highlighters, which I actually didn't want to love, but every time I wear it, I literally get a compliment. So that's the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Am Reezy highlighter that just looks like this right here. And it is so beautiful. I feel like by itself on my skin tone, like it could be a little light. So that's why I like to put like that bronze shade down from the Sunday palette as my base. And then use this right on top. And here we go. And as you can see, it just adds like a really nice glow. Like these two together is like a match made in heaven for me. So this is like before with just the bronze shade and then after. Like literally like just beaming. Like oh, I didn't want to love it, but it's just so good. It's so good. So I'm gonna take some of my nose, the bridge, and I'm not gonna use it to highlight anywhere else, just those areas. So I'm just strategically using that one. So now that my complexion is mostly done, even though I look semi, semi crazy, I'm just gonna set my face with the, oh, why did I take the top off? With the Urban Decay All Nighter, and this is the new one with pollution protection. So I just got this about maybe less than a week ago. I feel like it's the same, but who knows? And I'm just applying that all over. Whew. 
And I feel like this is like, I don't know, like it just makes my makeup look more natural. And it just takes away like any powderiness because I do use a few different powders throughout the day. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, my skin is like really oily. So this just takes away the powderiness, but also helps my makeup last longer. So this is how my complexion is looking so far, which is so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. There will be a separate video on that. So obviously subscribe to my channel if you wanna see how I do my brows. So I just went ahead and did my brows off camera. And like I said, there will be a video for that coming soon. So I'm gonna do a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of eyeshadow just because I don't have a lot of time. Like honestly, I should be done doing this in like seven minutes and I still have to put on my work uniform. So yeah, let's <laughs> get this thing going. But I'm gonna be taking a little bit of my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just gonna use that to prime my eyes. So I just put a little bit of that on my finger and I'm just gonna take it on the lid. And I got a little bit under my eye, but that's okay. And then I'm going to be taking the infamous or the new Anastasia Beverly Hills a Soft Glam Palette. And I'm just gonna be doing a really quick eye with this. Like I said, I really don't have any time and I'm probably gonna be late to work for doing this video, which is perfectly fine, kinda. But I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange soda shade and I'm just gonna use that in my crease area. Kind of, but there's already a little bit of shadow on my brush. So I'm just taking that and going in my crease. Just creating a nice like wash of color. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that burnt orange shade and go in my crease as well. And if you're wondering what that tapping sound is, that's me like tapping off any like excess from the brush. So I'm just kind of just tapping that off just so I don't have a lot of fallout. Cause like I said, this is like a quick, quick eye look that I probably honestly shouldn't have done cause I don't have time. And then I'm just gonna take that Sienna color I'm just gonna use an angled brush and I'm just gonna press that just on my lid. I'm taking that on both sides sorry I'm not talking but I'm in such a rush I didn't even realize that the time had went by so quickly so I'm just making sure that I'm getting enough saturation of that color on my lid and then I'm just bringing it a little bit into my crease and then I'm just gonna blend it out with that first brush I used, which was actually my Morphe E22. And I'm just gonna kind of blend those shades together. brush kind of pat on top of that and then blend it in okay 
So I kind of just gave me like this ready brown kind of blown out eye, which is actually what I wanted to do. So that's perfect. And then I'm going to take a little bit of what? Oh, a little bit of that burnt orange with my Makeup Forever 212 brush. I'm going to go under my lash line or my bottom lash line. Just kind of bouncing out the eye there. And then I'm going to go in with that sienna color as well. But for the bottom, I'm actually going to take a little bit of that Cypress un Umber color and do a little bit on the bottom, on the outer half. Like that. So it kind of just gave me like this reddish eye. And then I'm going to kind of, well not kind of, because this is actually what I'm about to do. But I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Ooh, should I use the rose pink? Or that I'll take some of the sultry color and kind of have that on the inner um, half of my eye or the inner fourth of my eye, right here. Just because that color is like stunning. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit on my lid. And then I'm gonna take, oops, and then my alarm is, cause I'm supposed to be gone. So then I'm gonna take my Sedona Lace 904 brush. And I'm gonna go in with that bronzy gold shade and use that as my inner corner highlight. Oh, it's pretty. Yes, and that's just giving me like that pop that I need in my life. So then I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs highlighter and this is in the shade blacker and I'm going to do my waterline yeah Ooh, okay and then I'm going to take oops I'm dropping stuff that's how you know you're running late when you start dropping everything my it cosmetics superhero mascara and i'm going to do that on my top and my bottom I just like the sound. So I'm really filling these eyes, but I did have a little bit of fallout, so I'm just gonna take what's left with the powder that I had on that brush. I'm gonna sweep that away. Cool. And then now I think I just have to do my lip. So I may be on time to work today. We'll see how that goes. I still gotta put my uniform on. So I'm just gonna use this Huda, Boop, Huda Beauty. Oh my God, what did I just say? This Huda, Boop, Huda, Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Spice Girl. And I'm just gonna kind of line the perimeter of my lips with this. And I'll fill in a little bit. I always do. And that line was actually a pretty good line for being really quick. I'm gonna blot my lips together a little bit. And then I'm gonna take, I feel like my nude, like I found my nude. And this is the Dior Rouge, the Rouge, Dior Rouge Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade, I think, 614. So I'm gonna use that to kind of fill in my lip.
Now it's gonna add a gloss, but I think I'm actually gonna leave it like this. So, to finish up, I'm gonna go ahead with my last step and then do another few pumps of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray all over. And I think this look is done. So depending on if I have time or not, I'll show you what everything looks like with my hair finished, either now or five hours from now, because I do have to go to work. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my look. I don't think this is an everyday look anymore. This is more like a soft glam look. But I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and stay tuned for more coming soon. I just like the sound.